Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Thrawn's Revenge 3.2. I am doing this as the tournament thing. Technically this is for my classroom at my school. But... Sorry, but we are going to be using it for school for now. This is actually for my YouTube channel too as well. Okay. That's a CSA, that's a ship market. Never mind me. Okay. So the first ship we are starting out with. You're going to start out with the smallest vessel. Well, the smallest vessels here are not the greatest. Okay, we're going to do that. And we're going to drag... Two more CR-90 class ships. Okay, we're gonna also do this. To where... We attack fighting forces. Sorry about that, if you can hear that. I am so sorry. Um, we are also testing the shield strength. As you can see here, the Raider class Corvettes do have 650 hull, 550 shields. Their speed is 5.0. Their acceleration is 0 0.06. Their turn is 0 0.65. Their armaments is six light dual turbo laser, rapid fire laser cannons. And there's six of them every five seconds, 3.0 kilometers, two concussion missiles. On the Raider 2 class Corvette, this thing has four medium turbo lasers, the same amount of hull and shields, same acceleration and everything, but it also has medium ion cannons and two quad turbo lasers, or laser cannons. You can't see the hard points on the ship right now. And this is scaling it up a little bit on both sides of this fight. We had an MC-80.
and two MC-30 A's. This ship is meant to fight large fleets. Hopefully the Hapens and the New Republic are friends. Oh, come around. You see here, we also have bombers and fighters. The one other thing is, we do have massive ships, such as this ship we are about to show right here. This is one of the massive ships. It's pretty big. It can just demolish lighter ships such as the MC-80 Liberty, which also, as my description kind of says, okay, the description I gave of the Neb B is as valid as you're gonna get. Or not of the Nebby, of the MC-80. This is as valid as you're going to get. Really, this is not the game, because it can't handle anything larger. Now we are also showing in the Modern Mothma Class Star Destroyer. Re Rebel Star Destroyer, my mistake. It is a little bit more powerful, actually. Just a tad. Than the... Well, you can see here, this ship right over here is destroying. It's wrecking everything. And now we're going to assemble a fleet to destroy the ship that I just summoned in. Let's get the... Man, let's get the Viscount prototype. We're going to try and take the ship down. See, the Viscount is a heavy starship. We lost our Star Destroyer here. You see, the Viscount class starship has 22,990 hull damage, hull points. And it, this thing holds like 30 to your 75 class transports. A bunch of fighters. From Imperial standpoint, that's a weak ship. When I do this, though... <laughs> Pop. See, this ship is called the Eclipse. <laughs> The Eclipse class Star Destroyer has a colossal super laser. It is a heavy laser cannon. And it also is an injector. The Eclipse also can shred through enemy ships. Like, look at the Sun 1 class. It has 25,000 shields and is getting clapped. You see here, though, you can see here the Death Star orbiting the full roast moon of Endor. See... We are going to see this battle play out, uh, but it's not going to be a rebel victory, of course. The Hapens, we'll also see it, probably some of them.
we're, we're seeing this ship just shred people. We've lost the ion cannons. That's what I meant by the game crashing, but that's going to be it for this episode, actually. Bye!